Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you for joining me it's still Inktober and today's prompt is Husky so I've gone quite literal with this one I'm not even gonna hide it I've done Husky with his big gorgeous blue eyes massive nose and a big lolling tongue pens that I've used are the MGA Clean Colour Soft brush pens which I got with Upcrate and make sure you check that video out if you're wondering what on earth Upcrate is. I have done an unboxing on it. I've also used the Graph Master Aquarelle brushes which came with it too and both of these ones I've just mentioned are water soluble so I've obviously gone in there with a brush. Now to add some more detail and just to make him look a little bit more fuzzy I've gone in there with a Sakura Micron pen just to add more fur I guess and I've also used a Faber-Castell brush pen as well now this brush is on its way out I've had it for years and years and years and the end of the brush is a bit raggedy on it which is good because that just makes it a little bit more well it's just a bit easier to emphasize the fur isn't it and I really like the um, eyeliner I've given this dog as well. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, I could have tried something else with this prompt, but I don't know if you know or not, I've recently had a puppy and I'm all about pooches at the moment. I absolutely love my dog. He's brilliant, so I just wanted to do a dog. So, yes, it was a literal puppy. I think I could have done a better job of this picture, um, I think his muzzle's a little bit too dark, but I don't know. I think it kind of adds to his goofy expression. I think maybe, though, I did add a little bit too pi much pigment around there. And I don't think it was anything a Sakura Micron could have saved. However, adding additional layers to his fur with the grey MGA brush pen, that just added a little bit more depth. And obviously I wanted his tongue a little bit redder too. I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who's commenting and sort of encouraging me to keep going with this. You know, really do appreciate it. And I feel like I've got a nice little community building here. And I like offering any advice where I've got my materials from. And yeah, it's, it's just really nice. It's nice to be able to reach out to you guys and for you to respond and for you to reach out to me and I can get back to you as well. I'm, I'm really enjoying this aspect of YouTube at the moment. So yeah, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> now I wanted to add a nice cool background because they are, I know they're everywhere in the world but they are more sort of wintry dwelling dogs so I thought a nice cool blue would work for the background there and that is today's prompt I just want to say thank you ever so much for watching thank you for subscribing and liking as well and if you haven't make sure you do so you don't miss out on the rest of Inktober right well I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow bye